Hey everybody, it's Lucas at Stokes Music Studios, and in this video, you're gonna learn the first solo in Sultans of Swing. The song is in the key of D minor, so we hear that D minor sound. But during the solo, you wanna have one guitar that's just playing the entire first melody. Get good at bends. We're getting a lot of bends in this song. Whole step bends, nothing too, too fancy. So take our 12th fret of that G string and give it a good whole step bend to our target note, which is the 14th fret of that G string. There it is. Once you hear that pitch, for starters learning this solo, you could go one, one, two, three. So it's four, four strums, four strikes. One, on the bend, and then one, two, three. But what Mark Knopfler does is he bends on each one of those counts. So check it out. One, one, two, three. There it is, that's the intro. If you got that, great. You can relax for a minute. Slide that back down. Literally let the bend go. Then you do a real simple hammer on from the 10th fret to the 12th fret. Go down one more half step. This time it's nine, 10, nine. That's all on the G string for the first part, everybody. There you go, that's it, that's it, great. Now, a really fast pick back to 10. And then you do eight, nine. Slide eight, nine, real easy there. So we're at the beginning, really slow. Take a good listen to this and you can do it in minutes. That's it. Now, Mark Knopfler is a master with his fingers, so he's doing this with no pick. I use a pick, that's just me. So what I like to do to emphasize those, those, those notes that he emphasizes, I pick them really fast, I strike them of course, but in between, there's a little bit of a dead string. So you wanna go, pick, dead string, slide up, eight, nine. So good, if you got the first part, great, let's move on. This is a cool little walk up here. We're gonna to go to the 12th fret of the E and A string. I bar that with my third finger. There's those notes. Now we gotta get the 11th fret of the D string. Good. So the first three notes. Now, the 9th fret of the G string. 9th fret of the B string. ninth fret of the little E string. So it's a really cool pattern. You're going from low E to high E, just like this. 12, 12, D 11. G, B, and E are nine. So really slow, that goes like this. Now, once you've got that, I use my pinky here on these bends, it's just how I do. Now the pinky is gonna get the 12th fret of the E string. Our target note is the 14th note. So we gotta bend up. So we do that walk up. When you get to the pinky, you bend it up just a little bit there. And then we're gonna go to the next part. So let's iron this part out really quick. Good. Good. The next part, go to the 10th fret, and then when you, I like my pinky, because when my pinky's done with that bend, my ring finger is my next note. So I lift off everything. Then I'll leave my first finger free, because it's gonna bar the next two strings, like this. Our D string is next on 12. So. Good, good. 
Now the next note is, oh, I'm sorry, 10th fret B string to 13th fret B string. But what Mark does is he picks with his fingers, of course, so you wanna create that raking sound. We've just ended here on this D note on the 12th fret of the D string. And then you wanna kind of mute the next two strings. There you go. Practice that, it'll pay off in the long run. Then you land on that 10, and then you have to go to 13, so like this. There you go. So B on the 10, B on the 13. Now, use your ring finger and perform a hammer on and pull off sort of fashion right here. So first this whole step, it is 11, 13, and then it's 10, 11, 10. So it's. Now back to 11. Slide up from 9, 10. He does a lot of that. It's the bluesy stuff there. It's pretty cool. You go. Good, and in between there, get that click. Dead string, everybody. Click. Good, 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 good. Now, my all-time favorite part, when he goes to the F chord on the verse, rhythm guy, you wanna take that same bend we started from, G string 12, everybody. And you do this really cool bend, whole step bend. So our target note is 14. Once you've got that, great. Your pinky should be free at this point. And this is the tricky part if you're new to it. The pinky's gonna bar 13 on the B and the E string, just like that. So I've got 12 on the G, bended to 14. And I hold that, that's the trick. Hold that bend and then lay your pinky down and get these two notes up high, up high there. So slowly, that cool part's like this. So it's real simple, and it'll take you a couple passes for sure, but you'll get 12 to 14 and then hit that 13 on E, on B, on B. Good. Now high E, now back down to B, and then let that bend just ease down. If you're making all these faces and you're rocking back and forth, it means you're playing it right. So that's my favorite part. Get good at going bend to 14, bar, bar, let it down. Good. The next part, the target note is the 13th fret of the E string. But he doesn't just hit that note and walk that down, he slides into that note. So I pick a note at random somewhere between between seven, eight, nine, and I slide up to 13. So that goes like slide to 13, go back to 12. 13 on B, and then 12 on G. So real slow, that's. Oops, I went one more note, but we're going slow, so I'm gonna go ahead and go right into this. Slide to 13, hit 12, 13 on B, 12 on G, now 14 on G, 12, 14, and then a really fast peck right there on 13 on B, and emphasize that note. Dead note, let it ring. So it's hard to explain, we get lost, it's difficult to teach patterns like this, and I don't have tablature in this video, but if you click the link in our description, it'll take you to a page where the tablature is. There it is, everybody, it's awesome. Then you got it. 
But this video should help you. I really hope it does. So check it out. Slide up to 13, 12, 13, 12, 14, 12, 13 on B. Good. Now we'll leave that note for the next lick. I use my pinky. You could use whichever fingers you're comfortable with. I grab that note with my pinky. 13th fret, my pinky is ready. Then I bend up. It's a whole step bend, so our target note, let's get what that sounds like. I gotta bend up to that. Good. Once I'm there, I take that bend back down to fret number 10. Bend back up. So you go really slowly, that bend exists on the B string and it's 13 to 15. So check it out, that lick from the part right before this up to this bend very slowly executes like this. End on two hits. Dun, dun. Now, we're going from 10 to 13. So, keep your bar on B and E. Got my first finger there. So after that bend, let it down, go to 10 on B, 13 on E. And then, 10 on E. So really slow there, I'm jumping ahead, but it's it's hard to explain this. B, 13, 10, and then 13 of the B string again, 10 of E. So that little part I'm explaining there is 10 on B, 13 on E, 10 on E, 13 on B. Then you go back to E, and then that cool bend again from 13 to 15. Back down to 10, and then 12th fret on the G string. So guys, all I can do is play that really slow. It should sound like this. Here's that bend. Now, 10 on the G. Now, we're almost done with the first solo in the song. So after we end right here on the 10th fret of the G string, we come down to bar three notes here. It's uh, D string, G string, B string. And then our pinky is gonna get the sixth fret of the B string like this. Now slide up one whole step and the same three strings and then sixth fret of uh, B again. Pinky is going to get eighth fret of the B string. So you want to go so that's B string is doing all the magic there. Five, six, eight, six, five, six, eight. So you want to go. Back down to the first shape we did. And you go the same three strings. Six again. Now the ending, everybody, slide up one whole step back to this shape. 
and you go D, G, and then a whole step bend, and then pinky on eight. Let that bend back down. And then end on the good old D note, everybody. All right, I'm gonna run through the solo very, very slowly, just to show you guys all those parts strung together and how it sounds. Here we go. that bend. Here's that crazy bend. Go down here, then it's If you've kept up with that lesson, great. I hope this helps someone play the solo. It takes a little bit of just feeling it and hearing that song. Play it a couple hundred times, embed it into your brain. Watch this video as many times as you need to. Play it slow, 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 and go slow. And challenge yourself, give yourself a few days on this. You can play this solo and it's a lot of fun. My name is Lucas with Stokes Music Studios. I love teaching guitar. Check out our music course on Patreon if you're struggling to play the guitar, if you're struggling to keep up with rhythm, if you want to sight read music and finally join a real league of musicians, you need our program. Click the link in our description. It'll take you right to it. We love you. See you in the next video.